What is going on everybody? My name is Trevor and today we're going to be talking face masks. Sorry, more importantly, base camp face masks. Let's go. So Basecamp recently reached out to me and asked me to test some of their face masks. And of course I said yes. I said yes because oddly enough, I was already using one of their face masks. And to be honest, I would have said yes anyways because they seem like a good company and they seem like they care about their customer. So I figured I would take the time to test these and let you guys know my honest opinion on them so that way you guys have a quick guide before you buy. But real quick, before we get into the video, make sure that you guys are subscribed and go ahead and check out my Instagram as well. I post some cool things, I think. All right guys, let's get into it. All right, starting out, mad props to Basecamp for this packaging. This little bag is super durable and kind of hard to get into, but I really like it and you're gonna wanna save it for later. The bag came with some filters and then also the two masks that they wanted me to look at. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get into them. All right, starting out, I wanna talk about the filters inside the masks because I think that that's the most important part of the mask. Um, these things are durable and <laughs> I know it's not super important, but they look pretty cool. Also, another cool thing about it is that the active carbon filter can isolate 99% of non-toxic dust. It can also keep out pollen, fumes, and common airborne irritants. So you guys can take this thing basically anywhere. It doesn't have to just be for your shop. It can be for mountain biking or hiking or, you know, basically anywhere where you want to protect your lungs. You can just grab this mask and take it with you. Starting with our first mask, the M+. Plus. This mask is a great little Velcro style mask. It's super quick and super easy to put on. You don't have to worry about any extra straps or anything like that. It really is just a good grab and go mask. The Velcro on it is super well done and you're not gonna have any problems worrying about it coming undone. The filter inside is just the same as all the other filters that they sell. And this mask does a really good job of adhering to your face and keeping all that dust out of the top and out of the bottom. And I would definitely recommend this mask to anybody who is looking for a quick respirator. Next up, the M1 Cross Mask. This thing is a little bit different just because of the two straps it has in the back. It makes it a little bit easier to position the mask on your face once you've actually got it on, but it is a little bit difficult to actually get it on at the beginning. Ha, hey, sorry, real quick, I made a dum-dum, and I didn't realize that with this mask, it actually unclips. Yeah, so, it actually unclips and reclips back together. So, uh, just so you know, it does that. It just takes a little bit of force um, to pull it apart. Like a lot of force, Ugh. do with that what you will. But one thing I will say is that it, you don't have to put it on the way that I just put it on, which is the dumb way. You can unpull all of them and then actually just strap it on around you like this, which makes it a little bit easier. So really put this thing on any way you want. I don't really see a faster way than either of the ways that I just did it. All right, let's get back to it. That being said, this mask is amazing. It's super comfortable and it holds super tight to your face. Those extra two straps really do a great job of helping you get the right fit to your face. And it's got some additional padding on the sides that just keep it super comfy. Also, the back straps have some like jelly grip on the back, so this thing doesn't move around at all. 
I really like the fact that I can just let this thing dangle around my neck when I'm not using it. If I'm going to be doing a lot of sanding in the shop, I'm definitely going to be using this mask. And last but not least, the M1 cross mask with a buckle clip. This mask is not yet released um, and it doesn't have a release date yet. But I was lucky enough to be able to test it out and give them my thoughts on it. In comparison to the push and pull clips, these are a little bit easier I would say. But I still had a hard time getting them started at the beginning of my sanding. Both times I usually just ended up pulling the mask over my head and then adjusting the straps afterwards. The push and pull clips are a lot easier to put together but not as easy to pull apart and the buckle clips seem to be a little bit more fidgety to put together but way easier to take apart. All in all the buckle clips are super strong they seem really durable and I have no fear of them breaking or coming apart while I'm sanding. They also have no effect on how well the mask holds to your face or anything like that so I see no problems with them and I think that they're gonna do great in the shop. I honestly think at this point it's just up to the user on which style of clips that they would want. And that's about it guys. I really hope that this video was informative and that it will help you guys make a good decision when it comes to purchasing these masks. I am really excited to see what Basecamp decides to do with the M1 cross mask, whether they decide to do both buckles as an option or just narrow it down to one. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments or follow me on Instagram and let me know there. I will keep you guys up to date on Instagram for sure and I will try to get back to everybody who comments here on YouTube as well. And see what I tell you at the beginning of the video, you want to keep this little baggie. It seals up, it'll keep all your masks safe and it's really good for storage. Alright guys, that's it for me, I hope you enjoyed the video, be good, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!